Tumela, Lochani, Ah, Absheni, Molweni, Wuhatet, and Hello. My name is Maambele Kosa. I am the Faculty of Sciences Recruitment and Marketing Officer here at Stellenbosch University, the best university. Today we are meeting under these extraordinary circumstances brought about by the coronavirus, and you are probably sitting there wondering as parents or students that how do I know where to from here? I have applied, but what should I do from now? Well, wonder no more, because we've got you. So, coming up in this presentation, our Dean of the Faculty of Science, Professor Wanik, will tell you more about why should you study science here at Stellenbosch. And while you will know that why should you study it here, our Vice Dean, Professor Rufiski, will tell you more about the support structures that we have in this faculty, all other facilities that you need to know and other people that you need to know in the university to make your journey as simple as ABCD or just simple as chemistry, which gives you options. And you're probably sitting there wondering, why do all these professors tell me why should I study science at Stellenbosch? Who's going to tell me more about my student experience as a student next year? Who's going to tell me more about what kind of life I should actually live in order to experience the best time in being a Mati? Oh, you know I always got you. Viwe and Kinen will share their student experience with you as the science students here in the university. So you don't have to worry. And now, since you will know what it feels like to be a Mati, obviously they will tell you until you feel it. Um, we have Miss Valentine who's gonna tell you about what to from now. When are you supposed to be packing your bags to come here? Because I know you are working so hard and you will definitely secure a spot for yourself within our faculty. So she will tell you what to do, when to contact her, and what should you contact her about. So you have nothing to worry about. And lastly, you will definitely have a view of our faculty as we are going to give you a tour. So you're going to know what it looks like. You will not get lost because we will be here and this tour will help you familiarize yourself with our faculty. Dear students and parents, the fact that you have applied for a program in science means that I don't need to convince you of the importance of science. The current pandemic has once again illustrated how dependent we are on scientists. Scientists have identified and characterized the novel coronavirus. Scientists have developed the first epidemiological models to predict the spread and the impact of the virus. And scientists are developed vaccines. If we look at the Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations, it is clear that the majority of the 17 goals that aim to address the major challenges that we face, namely clean water, climate change, etc., will depend significantly on the input of natural scientists. Therefore, a formal qualification in science remains valuable. And if you want to contribute to scientific contributions to impact or benefit the lives of mankind and the world around us, this is definitely the faculty for you. But why would you come to Stellenbosch University for your science degree and to prepare for your future career? Stellenbosch University will be a leading research intensive university in Africa, internationally known for its excellence, innovation and inclusiveness, where we advance knowledge in service of society. The Faculty of Science, like the university, is already well known for our students' success and a strong ethos of research excellence, where we contribute to society through our graduates, as well as research with impact. This graph illustrates how we can claim that we are 
successful in training students. On the bottom axis, it is illustrated that Stadamash University has a very low dropout rate for first year students. While on the other axis, it shows that we have a high throughput of graduates. Our researchers are also contributing to social impact through various projects related to the expertise in the faculty. I can mention numerous examples, but I will limit myself to two. The first example is our contribution to COVID-19 related research. Some of our researchers were involved with the very first epidemiological models developed to predict the spread of the pandemic in South Africa. Currently, researchers are working on the development of new tests to detect infection, as well as sewage testing for tracing COVID-19. Another example is the development of the first eco-friendly shark-specific safe barrier. This innovation that has recently received a national reward will protect beachgoers without harming marine life. This project started as a PhD study and with the help of various partners resulted in a spin-out company that now attracts interest from countries such as Australia and La Reunion Island. The faculty has also established various partnerships with industry partners, research councils, government organizations, and many more. We regularly consult our scientific advisory board regarding our curricula and our research focus in order to strengthen links with various stakeholders. For example, partners from Google's DeepMind in London played an important role in the design of our master's degree for advanced machine learning and artificial intelligence. And recently DeepMind announced that Stellenbosch University will be the first African university to be included in its scholarship program. What else can a student expect from the Faculty of Science? Our students have access to excellent facilities to enrich their learning experience. And later on, you will be able to see some of these facilities in a short video. Secondly, our students have access to world-class academics. Academics like Professor Guy Mitchley, an international leader in climate change and biodiversity. Professor Nox Makunga, a leading researcher in medicinal plants, and Professor Risha Petorius on the right-hand side, who has received various awards for her research in the pathophysiology of inflammation and abnormal clotting. These are but three examples. These leading researchers will be your lecturers. And additionally, our lecturers are skilled in best teaching practices and new technologies. And this is why they could relatively easily adapt to the online teaching platform. The faculty is also very proud of our graduates and the contributions that they are making in society. Graduates such as Rian Conradi, who is the founder and director of three technology businesses in health and healthcare, and Nonkululeke Gadebe, a master's student in polymer science, who received the prestigious Borealis poster award for her research that she presented at an international conference on polymer analysis and characterization. Nonkululeko is currently a PhD candidate in Germany. We believe that the BSc degree from Stellenbosch University will open doors to various opportunities and possibilities. We know that with time, job opportunities and applications will change. But the foundation of these 
namely the basic sciences, mathematics, physics, chemistry, etc., will not change. Therefore, we believe that it is important to provide our students with a solid foundation in the basic sciences as well as applied sciences, such as computer science, biochemistry, and others. It is also important to equip our students with transferable skills and to provide numerous opportunities outside the classroom. We are well aware that the rapid changes in the future world of work necessitates a flexible program and module design and continuous adaption of teaching programs. In order to equip our students with the necessary skill set for the 21st century, therefore, our programs are designed to offer specific disciplinary as well as multidisciplinary expertise, technical knowledge, and the valuable genetic skills that the next speaker, Professor Ravitsky, will also refer to. For parents, I have a short message. The transition from high school to university will be substantial in various aspects. Your role as a parent will change, but it will remain important. Keep on encouraging and supporting your student, but do allow her or him to develop as an independent individual. I would also like to remind you of all the various support services that are available to our students. The Center for Student Counseling and Development offers various services on campus, and there are numerous other services available, from campus health to campus security that provides safety on campus. Finally, to our provisionally accepted students, best wishes for the final matric exams, we are excited to welcome you to the Faculty of Science and we are looking forward to seeing you in 2021. Thank you in course. In the Faculty of Science, we acknowledge that the transition from high school to university is one of the most challenging experiences that our students may face. We recognize that the successful transition depends on the prior educational and personal experiences as well as support opportunities that our students may have and how these opportunities help our students to meet the demands and expectations of higher education. Moreover, due to the nature of science, we are acutely aware that our students may also face many tensions. And these tensions include the development of knowledge versus innovation, as expounded in a recent paper on science for the 21st century, as well as the building of knowledge and the development of transferable skills like problem solving and critical thinking. Such skills are also identified as the 21st century skills that graduates should have when seeking employment in the future. In the Faculty of Science, we follow a dynamic approach in which we recognize different learning pathways as well as different approaches to accessing knowledge and higher education. And we try to address these tensions by seeing them as not opposing each other but as working together with each other. Accordingly, we have developed a module called Science in Context, where we bring together the goal of being good at something together with the goal of being good for something. And this, pro this particular module is focused around a multidisciplinary project addressing some challenge-led problem like climate change or even epidemics. And the students bring together disciplinary knowledge as well as skills from beyond science, such as language skills, computing skills, digital literacy. And they realize that science can be used to solve problems that are even bigger than a scientific discipline. We also support our students in narrowing the articulation gap between school and university by helping them to move away from 
a more procedural approach to understanding the underlying principles and also linking new ideas with existing ideas. We also help students to bring their own individualized views and representations of ideas into the learning experience so that they experience a deeper understanding of the concepts rather than only engaging with superficial learning. We offer differentiated support in the faculty where we help students to unpack decontextualized, abstract, complex definitions of concepts into simpler, concrete meanings of these concepts so that they gain a better understanding of the concepts that endure for the entire program. And this idea of unpacking and then repacking it back into the abstract definition helps the students to gain a better understanding of a concept within a particular module, but also in other modules. And this happens across the entire program. Over the past 20 years in the Faculty of Science, we have moved away from a more add-on remedial approach to support to a more con curriculum integrated differentiated support program. And this includes group work, tutorials, practicals, field work, and even an online experience. And as we look forward, we are moving towards a more mobile, flexible, individualized, technologically mediated support that addresses the academic challenges as well as the psychosocial challenges that our students may face. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Keenan and I'm currently completing my undergrad in human life and biological sciences and I'll be speaking about the need for resilience in your academic university journey. So the jump from high school to university is a rather large one, but it is not impossible to reach over. University is a totally different experience, especially for those who are new to the Stellenbosch area and are living away from home for the first time. University requires you to be diligent, dedicated and disciplined in order to achieve and successfully complete your degree. It's full of different experiences. Some of these experiences are fun and fruitful, while others are learning curves. Just know that the coursework coupled with exams um, and assignments may seem overwhelming and you will get stressed. This is normal. And remember that the coursework is manageable. With great organization skills, a positive and optimistic attitude and a strong support structure and the determination to strive, you will overcome and achieve. Um, one of your best support structures are your family and your friends. So please tell them about your journey, about your struggles and ask for advice and you will see that your academic journey will become easier. In the end, you will begin to adapt to the pressures of university and will find out what works best for you. Hello everyone, my name is Viwe and I'm a third year BSc student doing Human Life Science and Biology. So I'll be speaking about having more realistic expectations. Now the jump from high school to university is a jump in the truest sense of the word. It challenges you academically, socially and even politically. But like Keenan said, it also builds and shapes you into the adult you'll be for the rest of your life. Now it's important to understand that you're in a new school, you have new friends, new educators and you're in a place in your life where you've honestly never been before. Now with these changes, your expectations have to also change. The form of teaching in university is completely different and as such, your marks will be different. They'll either go up or they'll go down, but they're completely in your control. In high school, I could do the bare minimum and walk away with an 80% for a test or an exam, but in university, your mark is a true reflection of the effort you put in. If you do the bare minimum, your marks will be bare minimum, but none of this is to scare you. All I want to show you is that in university, you truly are the master of your own fate. Thank you, Viewe. Now that the serious part of the presentation is over, as a Marty student, there are so many things that you can do on campus. So here are a few must sees and do's that the campus has to offer. As students, we love our coffee. So why not get a MyBrew and enjoy it on the Roy Plain? 
Keenan and I will never see eye to eye on this. I think you should get your daily fix of caffeine from DCM. Nonetheless, you can also go to the Endler Hall and have a free lunchtime performance, um, either watching our beautiful choir or listening to our orchestra. Um, if you don't fancy doing that, you can always catch a pulp movie and enjoy a delicious bag of their popcorn. Speaking of pulp, you can also join a couple of societies on campus. Try to join one that's out of your comfort zone. Personally, I like Marty's Ballroom Dance and the Harry Potter Society. Um, if you're not into those kind of things, you can always take a hike up Kutzenberg like Vue and I in our presentation. <laughs> And you have to go to at least one varsity cup game. Yes. Or you can enjoy a lovely picnic in the botanical garden surrounded by the beautiful plants and flowers. And I think the most important must do is to participate in connect during a week. You don't want to end up like me where you're a senior living through your mentees because you didn't get a chance to participate. Out of all of this, all I want to say is thank you so much for listening. And we can't wait to see you next year on campus. Thank you so much. So what to expect next? Maybe another virus, a new one, a peak in the coronavirus again, or maybe a vaccine. Well, I don't know actually, but what I do know is that the science community in the science faculty is welcoming, is waiting to welcome you. Um, the hierarchy in the, in the faculty is uh, the dean, and then we have the vice dean, the head of the departments, uh, program coordinators, uh, module coordinators and lecturers. But what is important for you is that I'm here for you or to guide you through this process. So I am Artika Valentin. I'm the academic and student affairs coordinator. That will be your go-to through your process, through registration for any of your queries, any of the help that you need within this faculty. So this is the science calendar and the science calendar contain all of the module content, all of the programs, all of the streams, all of the details of the science programs. So when I'm talking about programs, we our programs are divided into three big fields, biological sciences, uh, physical sciences and mathematical sciences and then an interdisciplinary streams that that we have so the first program is the biological sciences and a program means that is what will stand on your degree certificate so in the biological sciences we have four um, programs biodiversity and ecology and within that you have certain majors and molecular biology and biotechnology with three majors that you can um, select from, and then human life science with two specific streams. Now within this program, it is easy to move around because modules and subjects are quite similar, so it's easy to, to make a change from one program to another program. Um, but if you consider changing from one specific field to another, it might end up with extending your studies. Within physical science, we also have four streams, BSc Physics, Chemistry, Earth Sciences, and Geoinformatics. And within those specific programs, you have the um, streams where, where you can, with a specific focal areas that you can specialize in. Then we have Mathematical Sciences, where we have eight focal areas or eight streams where somebody can um, uh, specialize in and then we have the new interdisciplinary streams where with three streams within that um, that has been presented since the start of the 2020 academic year so it's applied medicinal chemistry biomedical mathematical sciences and bioinformatics and computational biology so this is a cross field between other um, fields that we actually have so now you've been accepted or provisionally accepted and that is based on your grade 11 results. So now to move from provisionally accepted to final acceptance, we will look at your exit level school exam results. So if that specific result is meeting our minimum requirements, then you will be able to register. But what if something now went wrong and you decide or you decided that you're not interested in um, 
the specific program anymore or you after this you decided that you want to change to a new pro, uh, stream or you're interested in another um, field or you're not making the minimum requirements anymore. Then you submit a request to our academic committee via this particular link. And that will be considered and you will get an outcome via the email address that, that we have on record for you. But if you meet all of the requirements and your request has now been approved, then you must watch out for the martis.com website for the welcoming program. And two things that you must always check regularly is the martis.com site and your email for any correspondence from the science faculty or the university as such. And e later, during March, the specific dates will be communicated with you. you registration will take place. And now you can either do e-registration or you can come to campus for a manual registration. And any queries that you have, any questions that you have, I will be your go-to. You will have my email and my contact details in the beginning of this presentation. Um, so with any queries that you have, please contact me, feel free, day or night, with any academic affairs um, that you need or you feel you need some clarity on. Thank you. For further questions, you can contact Ms. Atika Valentine using the contact details provided here on the slide. And you can email her at any time. You can phone her. Or you can actually wait for 2021 to visit her in her office. Just pop by, say hi, I am here now because we are waiting for you. Here is the faculty tour. Enjoy it. Hi, my name is Joshua Campbell and I study BSc Human Life Sciences. And today I'm with... Hi guys, my name is Ayanda Manana. I'm studying BSc Human Life Sciences with Psychology and I'm currently in third year. Today we're going to be taking you on the Natural Science Faculty Tour. This is the... AL Perot This is where the Dean's offices are and the Natural Science Committee offices are. So if you ever have a problem, this is the place to be. We are currently on the bridge that leads to the JC Smart Building. With the most beautiful view in Stellenbosch. This is where you're going to do most of your practicals throughout your BSc career. Come, let's show them inside. Yeah. Welcome to the many fully equipped labs within the JC Smuts. This is where you're going to be doing most of your practical throughout your university career. And when in the lab, also remember to wear your lab coats. This is one of the post-grad labs in the JC Smuts building. And as you can see, we have some post-grad students doing their research. Okay, so over here we have Dion. Dion, what are you doing? Um, I'm a postdoc in biochemistry and currently I'm isolating a plasmid okay. so I can um, genetically modify bacteria to produce a specific protein of interest. That's so cool. Okay. building and it's one of the oldest buildings in the natural science faculty. It was actually completed in 1923. This building also houses the Department of Chemistry and Polymer Science. This is the first chemistry building. We're going to show you one of the lecture halls so you can familiarize yourself with the building. Fun fact actually, this is a caffeine molecule. This is one of the lecture halls in the first year chemistry building. Prof. Yes, Joshua. I actually don't trust atoms because they make up everything. So the nice thing about the science faculty is that most of our buildings are actually next to each other. On that, this is the Marinsky building which has the physics department. 
Most of Yad's faces will have first year physics, yeah. This is the Natural Science Building as you can see. If you go down that way, that's the Geology Building. This is Naha A, one of the many computer facilities in the Science Faculty. Within Naha, you have 24 hour access to Marty's Wi-Fi and you use your student card to gain access. So we've come to the last stop of our tour, which is actually the Roy Plain. Exactly, the Roy Plain. As you can see on the right hand side, that's where the natural science buildings are. There's the AI power building. And then there's the Nielsen, we can go and grab a coffee. And fun fact, we're actually standing on top of the library as we speak. SU Library is one of the biggest subterranean libraries in the world actually. Thank you so much for joining us on our virtual tour. We hope to see you soon. And good luck with the exams. Bye. See you in 2021. Nzakensa, Nikoribua, Ingomo. Thank you. Asante Sanal.